opportune time. Furia taking on G2 Esports, who on social media want to go through and win this through the lower bracket. But we're going to find out today, ladies and gentlemen. Little Furia G2 coming your way right about now. Let's do our die time now with G2 versus Furia in Katowice to stay alive in the competition. It's all down to really getting through the last few battles today, Chad. And uh, we start here on Nuke, G2, Furia both comfortable on this affair. Want to expect odds on your screen favoring G2 coming into this one. Yeah, and look, the Dust was just talking about this T-side approach of Furia here, so we'll see how much they favor the yard. Within this tournament, I think they've probably gone outside with set pieces four or five times. They're very lobby-centric, and that's going to put more pressure on Alexi B, the ramp holder. Jackson Hunter reside over towards top. Now Art with the P250 in hand, making some space, taking a fight or two. Multiple individuals spotted here, and they know Alexi could be on his lonesome now. Here we are. Start to try and challenge down Alexi B. He'll drop back in behind the smoke and shield himself off as Fury up. Held towards ramp, a little bit of a gap they're trying to gather info from on that right side of the smoke, but Furia backing off now. Yeah, is Alexi going to push back up? Because if he pushes through, he can get some info, but there's so many positions he'll have to worry about. Starting to get a little bit quizzical here, so that info means that Jackson Hunter could be on high alert towards the top side of things. Caserato with the flash, they are setting up for a top hit. It's going to come bounding out of his hands, and they'll spring out the door. Here they come. In towards the site, Art Tass are just trying to distract towards outside, but he has gone down as well. Two great kills here for G2. Hunter stepping up as well with some clean shots in Furia, just down to Keserato. He's trying to do his best with a Glock in hand, but with 35 seconds, no teammates around him. It's very difficult to see how he gets into this one. He'll start to move his way back into the site, but so many different positions to try and deal with. He's been chunked down even further, down to 24. With that, the time is starting to take as well. Keserato realizes this one's a done deal. Yeah, he's going to have to walk on out to his demise here. 15 seconds remaining. Death is on the agenda. Only a few moments now. It's 10 seconds. Peeking on through, trying to draw out the fight. Goes on down to Hunter. Seeing how many times they hit Yard. Not a lot, Chad. I think in the, in the last demo we're watching, it was maybe three times on their entire T half. So not a lot, but here we go. Out top, just the Glocks in hand, and they should be getting mowed up. How have they managed to get away with this? Well, suddenly Furia. Making a bit of a mess, but the bomb is down on the site towards A. <laughs> oh, Monacy, lovely little tap, and now Yuri's flanking around the backside. Yeah, it feels like they've gotten way more than it's worth in a round like this. Extremely light investment, but Yuri could win this round. With the gap and the M4 in hand, has a chance here, and that's a free kill. It's a one-on-one -on -one against Monacy. This could be an absolute disaster for G2, but Monacy's going to be tested early. He has only got a scout in hand. Yuri has the better weapon here. Problem is, Monacy has control of the bomb for the time being. There is so much time. Yuri doesn't need to be in a rush here, and Monacy has no idea where he's gotten off to, so both just hitting the brake. No sound cues coming through, cutting noise. Waiting to see who's going to make the first mistake as part of this. Monacy currently residing in lobby, and Yuri, as he makes his way around ramp, they might have a head-on collision. Well, Monacy knows that he can play with the USP because Yuri doesn't have armor, right? These are all soft opponents, so the USP is good for the tap to the head if Monacy can get it. And Yuri's starting to come back through the ramp. It's all about the timings here as Yuri begins to move his way back into lobby. Monacy holds from squeaky, dropping back. Yuri spotted. spotted him, and it's Furia who tie up the scoreline early. On the silo, but so many bodies in lobby here. Now they have to know that it's very rare to see Furia using these yard smokes. You've seen them setting up for a top pop smoke towards main flash on out. Here we go. A bit of quickness to this. Art coming out with a MAC-10. Looking to put pressure on Jack to the back of the site. And luckily Hunter there to back him up. But Art's in the smoke. He is still in the smoke right now. And Jax is just trying to find him. But once he pulls the net, Art just comes out of nowhere. Oh, that is so frustrating. Now Monacy has to try and pull that kill back. And Art, of course, still inside of the smoke as Monacy drops into his rifle. And now Furia in a very good position. Serato's about to remove Nico, yeah. and it's just Alexi B. Oh, that was way too easy, wasn't it? You could all see it. You could see it coming. You could see it coming every day of the week. They're just scattered on the site. Maroon, Jackson, Hunter didn't have a lot of help. Desperate maneuver there from Monacy dropping in with without any flash, without too many teammates around to assist. And now it is just Alexi B with the famous in hand and a great round from Furia. The thing is, once they start to set this tone early of being able to get away with top hits like that, that's where the playbook opens up. That's when you actually can go back to using Yard because they're going to have less eyes, right? They're not going to put as much focus on that position. And they're fo they're, often you will see CT sides put their best players in around the Yard position. And, and Nico and, and, and Monacy are going to be the
the two players around that area. If you're Fury, you're, you're somewhat targeting the weaker elements, right? You're, you're targeting Jax, you're targeting Hunter having to play all, all, alongside him. And if you could put pressure onto that site anchor, it can be really difficult for G2 to patch that up. Asserting some dominance and showing some presence. Oh, really moving with too much intent just yet, but those smokes towards outside have given Art a corridor to play with towards Yard. It also sends Monacy straight back. So who's going to be the rotator towards lower here for G2? Feels like it has to be Alexi. He's tasked himself with those rotations, trying to get down there in time, but Nico looking to defend oh, door. Behind. Art just takes him out. And so that opens up a chance here, but Jax and Hunter, they're stepping up for G2, and Jax has found another. It's all on safe now. 1v4 with the AWP. That's a raw card hole from Jax. Now up to three kills and uh, fantastic stuff from G2, being able to handle that bit of explosion from Fury. When Nico went down, it looked a little worrying there. It did indeed. And it just took the simple smoke. Well, they didn't even do the full L block, right? They just dropped the two. I guess it was an I block in that regard, just to get them across to Warehouse, but more used to come on into that. Easy for G2 here at all. It's a quick door blown open. Monacy, oh, he's Ooh. come in and looking for the opening, but he can't get it. And so Fury out running right into the site. They've spotted Jax on top of the site. Cylinders, and unfortunately for Jax, he's not able to get a single kill. He was blinded in the open. Hunter at least peels away with one, so that keeps it within the 4v4. But Fury in the site with the bomb down. It's starting to look good for the chances. We've got to look to G2's retake. One way dropped here, so they might be able to still exploit the smoke from Fury. A bit of a gap of theirs. It's left just a sliver here to work with. U2 coming out, flashes to initiate. Plenty of nades to make this one work for G2, but in a 4 on 4, it won't be easy. They went in on Nico. He's still so far removed from the rest of the squad right now, so. Smoke will start to fade away, that one way not being used for G2, and they're being held back in main. In comes Art through the smoke, missed shot from Monacy, and Art gets away with it. Alexi B has to retreat Furia, a quick explosive play, not enough done from G2, and Alexi B is being hunted down. The AK desperately trying through when they are being a little bit inactive in the early stages. Have a ramp crawl with the AWP. Take the fight to them. Be the ones here who can set the tone because look at this, they're just running out again. Yeah, and you have to stop them. Art luckily will be stopped by G2 and now Hunter looking. Oh, it's clean Hunter with three. And that's knocked out Furia in this one. Finally, they, they see how much they can get away with. They try and do it time and time again. And finally Hunter stood up for himself. He said no. Takes three kills down, and now Furia. Oh, they're looking a little lost. How do you get into this one when you've lost so many players early? Safe actually gets the chance in Alexi B when the smoke fades away. Now that opens up a chance down to this B site. Yeah, we might need to flip this the other way. G2 have to convert this, right? It's not how to Furia find their way back in. It's how to G2 not screw this one up. And Safe is pushing forward. Luckily, Monacy had crossed beyond his crosshair. He's able to take the headshot, and the bomb goes down. So now we're just looking to Yuri. 1v3 with the AK. Bomb is being watched right now by Monacy, and he's quick to the headshot. Five for G2. Strong hold initially from Hunter. But this is a great T half from Furia. Eight. You've got to be really happy with how this one's starting. Oh, and oh, Monacy's just in the flames in the open. He's lucky to stay alive here. This is a wild spot to find an AWPer. <laughs> Monacy's quick enough to get away with it. That's good. He's actually taken some heads up play to put himself in the game. He said he can be static around that heaven position, maybe just in yard. They've sent their heat seeking missile out and he's found a kill. Alexa B is now on the ramp. Sportsman coming in towards him, dropping back down without a kill, but Monacy's now back in his more comfortable spot and he is quick to the kill on art. Now we have to look to Furia who run with a full head of steam down towards this B site and Alexi B looking to dampen their fire. He's taken out safe. Two players left for Furia to recover this mission. It's not looking so hot to drop because now you've got Nico down here alongside Alexi B. So all the rifles ready to go for mass at range. Not the best weapon, but Nico can certainly make it look proficient enough. Yeah, good damage done here from Nico there. That should just stall them out towards this ramp position and allow the news to tighten from G2. I liked what we've seen from Monacy here. They just need to finish this one off. Don't drop any bodies. Make sure going into the final round of play here, everybody's bought up fully because it could still be an 8-7. Nico removed. Now Alexi B is going to be tasked and unable to take drop on the first opportunity. Drop sneaking by, his head down. Does Alexi B expect him to get so wide already? He hasn't seen him on the, the second time of looking down the barrel, so drop might just slip by this. into the smoke, out of the smoke, and a free kill on Alexi B. He's biding his time, he's wanting to get as deep as possible, and he now assassinates the head of Alexi B. It's down to Jax, Monacy, and Hunter to try and close this one out, and somehow Furia have found a way into this. They've known the bomb's been down in this position for some time, but they haven't addressed the lower site completely. Three on two, HP's not great, door swings oh, open, Jax down. denies, and that's it, that is it, it's all done. Monacy finally finds the final, and eight to six.
six. Smash open that door, throw utility in to try and panic G2 early. And Art is certainly looking to continue that panic. Luckily, Nico is ready. Looking directly up, but look at likes of B's position. Elevated, boosted up, and he'll take away one on the boxes. Good trade out from drop, but still, G2 will hold the advantage. And Furia wants to go with this one. Well, they've got ramp control. Last round, it was all down to the Biff with Alexi and Nico. Modesty's here again. Oh, he hasn't been Nothing. able to take a kill. Nico's down here at least. Head spotted. And that's going to be one. Nico transfers for two. And now it's just drop. Nico cleans it up. It's seven half. As close as you can get it here on New. Watch back the demo. But Art trying to slip through the smoke. It's Alexi B burning the way safe at the start of this round. So not much to see from him this time. And G2 will be happy with the advantage. They're starting to apply pressure to drop as they start to send numbers. But Art, oh, double kill. Monacine Alexi B down. Nico luckily treading that back. But drop is about to be tested here around the corner. When you're playing up in heaven, it's better to drop back here so you don't have to deal with multiple angles. It's, they saw the bomb towards the lower side as well. So it's forcing out such a crazy rotation. And this space is being taken. But drop, look at this angle. Yeah, it, this is smarter to do this. If you stay up in heaven, you've got to deal with the, the ledge. You've got to deal with so many different options. So if you drop back here, you should be at least getting one. And unfortunately, oh, he will get um, one. Uh, um, somehow, Jax, um, you've got to look. And unfortunately, that looks a little bit of a lack of communication, Chad. Whoa, just had absolutely no idea where I was getting shot from. Uh, okay. Well, they're into the side, at least. It is Nico in a one-on-three. So if there's anybody you want in this position, it's Nico. Yeah, and he has got the bomb plant. So at a minimum, G2 will have a force buy in the next round. But... We've got to keep eyes on Nico to see if he's going to pick this one up. Down the lower site, rotation's being made. He's got to worry about so many different sides here. Ram, decon, double doors, window. So many positions Nico has whirling through his head right now. Doors open wide, they cross into him, and Nico will go down to the Julies. That's Furia with a pistol. Is Furia extending the reach? Majority rifles. Hunter trying to be quick, but he's got to run through the fire. To the fire and flames he goes, and Hunter, like a dragon, will try and go forward with the Mac 10, but it's Yuri that's come back into play. Three picked up with the M4A1, and Monacy replies. It's just Nico yet again. This still is winnable for Nico as the Galil looks to drop at heaven. He will begin to fall back, but Nico bests him with the headshot. And now Nico begins to look for a save. Climbing down the ladder has so much time to play with. Yeah, here. so much time. That's the key here. Safe's going to actually offer himself up. Oh, unbreakable. Oh. The fight's going to come on. Nico with the headshot there, and they steal it back. What a clutch from Nico. They needed him, and he steps on. Yeah, I think he hasn't really got the memo of the, the Orps of Sniper. He thinks it's a shotgun. He's going to play close towards the vent. 44 seconds left. Cassarado now spotted. And try and beat Nico in a duel. Here goes Zard. Of course he gets away with that. No scope. Close to the door. That's the bomb drop for G2. And they have to run into him to get it back. Back turns. Oh, he just runs back into them. And safe now holding on. Anker from the site with the AWP. He's picked up two. Monacy picks up the bomb. Nico being tied from behind, and Drop has come up secret, putting it all on Monacy, who's dropped down the vent. But look at this from Drop. He's realized that's the option. He's gone quickly down the secret stairs. Monacy will get away with the bomb plant, and now tasked with a clutch. 13 rounds could be picked up for here for G2 if the young man can get it. Oh, and he's so quick on the first. Molly out towards Decon. And now he's starting to figure out where is the last player. Safe's on the AWP himself. He's pulled out the USP. Monacy is low. Monacy's reading this. Monacy has an idea that he might just be above him. And he sees the barrel on this shot from Monacy. And now safe back into oh. it and he falls down. Monacy loses his opponent and to the defuse he will run. Oh, so close there. I don't know how Monacy hits half the shots he does. Uh, the majority of the time the player's not even on the bloody screen and he flicks on in. The defuse coming through. Is there time? Is there time? Just oh, seconds in it, Chad. Oh. Charging forward with some ill intent. It's Yuri that swings out, but just one Cancerado helps him. At least a couple of kills here for Furia, but that kill, that's ridiculous from Art. Change the whole tune of this round here. Monacy can scoop up the bomb again, but look how disconnected Alexi is from the pack. It is just Monacy marooned in the site, currently on an island. Alexi needs to help him out here. Bomb's going to go down. They still have another smoke for main if they'd like. Three on two retake. Furia feeling good about the numbers they've got into this one and the utility left as well. Safe can just wait out this smoke. Monacy starts to turn his attentions away. The shot trying to pull his attentions away from heaven. There's no kit for this. So time is of the essence for Furia to get back into play. Monacy just having to peer between two angles in the flash. Oh, how does he get away with that? That's a ridiculous shot. And now Alexi B has been set up for the clutch to the defuse. Safe will go, but that he is down. It. That should be it. And just not enough time. I have no idea how Monacy lands shots like that. Oh my god, this guy is 
He's so quick. He's quick. Yeah, that's the key thing about this kid. If he can keep that quickness about him, he's to run this one home. What's the call here from Alexi and Co? Squeaky blown open. Smoke on out. Has a bit of room. Monacy's found the kill, and over the top of the smoke, Alexi does too. Nice little maneuver there. Gets himself down, wow. and the kills keep coming. Monacy on to save two. Alive, and it's just Yuri and Drop who have to wonder what the hell just happened. It feels like they're... they're their, snot, their spine has just been snapped out of their, their back, right? Yeah. It feels like this is starting to fall down the hill for Furia. Oh, this it's is... after a great first half as well, right? You had a really good first half of play. All your tricks worked. And, oh, Yuri, okay, okay. He's grabbed one. Now, they need to start working on a few more. I don't like drops chances. If he can get closer towards Hutter on the rafter, maybe, just maybe, Yuri knowing he needs to search, shot. Oh, he has a okay. second chance of survival here. That's an uncharacteristic miss for Nico. Yuri give it a slight opportunity, but G2 with the heavy numbers still. Nico takes a little tying to the molly towards outside, but we go under a minute here. Yeah, Yuri can't go anywhere. He kind of has to push in towards lobby here, which is the scariest of all with the AWP. If he drops down vent, Alexi will kill him. The rest of the team could start to make their way across down towards secret again. So they smoked off main. They've completely removed him from the picture. And yeah, you can see him trying to take some real estate back towards lobby here. The worst case scenario would be Oh, hold up a second. They might be heading towards heaven, and that's where drops MP9 does become a bit more potent. You can make this work. Not in towards main, but definitely towards heaven. G2 like to make it difficult on themselves sometimes. Well, now they've got to deal with drop. 20 seconds left. If drop can dispel Bombs and he can here. slow this down, that's the bomb, but Hunter quick to the headshot. Now it's Yuri, and he oh. will find Alexi B, nearly the collateral. Looking up towards heaven, they've got down, and that bomb will start to go down, but Yuri, he's finding kills, and finally put an end to by Jack. Yeah. I've, I've seen them push those numbers before. Just be meta breakers here on the <laughs> side of things for Fury. Now, they haven't gone all in on this. They've limped in with a couple of purchases, and one of those purchases has found a kill. Alexi down, and Keserado evaporates immediately down the vent. Last four members for G2, with plenty of time left, are over towards Yard, and they've stuck quite closely together here. But look at this. Lobby push is coming in. This is called completely clear right now for Furia. So not only are they gathering kills, but information in Keserado on a collision course with another. Yeah, he's right by Monacy. He's starting to creep up behind the sniper, but hasn't moved far enough. I don't know if he will. He's trying to get closer and closer. Finally spots out Monacy, neutralizes that threat. And that's, that's two kills though. now for Furia. Yeah, that's, that at least is the saving grace here for G2, but Art now will see them. Reads the position of Nico. can't beat him out though. Still G2 in a very difficult spot, being two players down in Kez Serato once again. Swings out from secret, hangs him out to dry. And now Nico into the clutch, his second of the round. Getting close to the MP9 and Yuri will make it happen. 11 now peeks up with Great a flash. flash. It's so well played from Furia to just get that one kill. He needs to get away now. Art's done more than enough. The nade damage is good. They're trying to chase him. Alexi was quick. This is a smart play right now from Furia. Nico again giving this outside control, but Furia still have the advantage. Safe, still alive up towards heaven. They will be aware that Nico could be coming through here. Can drop better Nico around this corner. He's got the tight angle on the left side of Nico. He'll start to move forward. 35 seconds. We need something to happen here for G2. And Nico, of course, he will start it. The headshot onto drop. Coming down the B side. Nico is going to add a prong to the approach as he comes in from ramp. But Art will be the play that needs to hold here for Furia. They're about to run into his crosshair. Art, good on the second as Whoa! well. And he goes back for more. Art with a 3K up to four in total. And now Nico left trying to get into the round, but there's no time to do it. Furia have just toyed with him. In fact, it is just Art that has done everything. Finally, he will be put to bed by Nico. But it's all about not dying after the time here, Nico. He needs oh, to hold no. it, and he goes down after time. Trying to be a bit more active in the opening fight, but unfortunately not given the opportunity to take one down through the door. Oh. No, Straight he'll be taken smoke. down. Jax removes him on the spam through, nearly gets the second opportunity onto Keserado. Art is starting to feel like he needs to do something. He wants the AWP. He's been able to pick it up yet. Likes to be into the ramp side. Uh, being held back from all fronts here. Furia doing a decent job of containing them and funneling them into the lobby for now. Still a lot of time for G2. 
drop if he's tested here. He doesn't have the best weapon, Chad. Yeah, no utility to slow them either. So Alexi might just be able to run him down with this MAC-10 in hand. They are starting to all turn their attention over towards the radio room. Is Nico still outside? He'll be the linchpin of all of this. Drop, you're about to be tested. Well, Drop is certainly under a lot of pressure. The MP9 is the weapon. It is close. Alexi B gets melted, but the defense liquidated, and it's all on Keserato. He's down on the lowest side, but G2, they look like they've done it. Keserato, not even the right side oh, of the map heaven, here. Yeah. That's the bomb going down to eight. That should be the death sentence passed on now. Yeah, this is going to be very difficult for Keserato to win AWP in the event. It was a valiant first half. You loved what Fury were bringing. They're playing outside of the meta here. A lot of lobby plays, a lot more top aggression. Now, just going to come on up. Ladder noted. Tries the no-scope, and this is just a matter of time. Keserato does Wait. get the no-scope for style points. And has yeah. another crack, but Hunter takes him down, and that's going to be it. G2 picking up map number one here in the best of three. It's do or die. It's Ticket on down, and well, this CT holder Fury, it is going to need to do a little bit more than we just saw on Nuke if they want to take this one to the third map of play. Remember, this is for survival. Winner of this will play the winner of the Astralis versus Fnatic series, which is going on simultaneously. Oh one expert odds have blown on out now. G2, the favorites indeed. Yeah, not looking so good for Fury, but they are looking to set up here G2 for an A execute straight away. Smoke's flash is being deployed. Currently, we look to Sif as the player here holding down the site from CT. Haven't really dealt with him yet. In fact, they've just run into the open and he has hung Jax out to dry. Luckily, Nico with a P250 in the pistol has taken one of those kills back, but for you are now getting to the site. Uh, G2 putting the bomb down. Yeah, they can't push too far forward here. Case Serato just over towards the window, trying to make sure that they can't take too much space. The rotation from Yuri, that could be the difference maker here for Furia. Now, I want you to note the kit is on safe and he is already low. Alexi B. Hunting down, drop in middle. He's done good damage, but no kill as drop will flick back. Monis is turned from window. Good headshot to remove drop from the round. Here comes Yuri. And Yuri's certainly starting his flank around the backside, this time from Palace. Nico had a quick look to ramp, but it's the Palace kill that's come in. And Modesty, alongside Hunter, so clean. He's, low. He's very low. Safe getting to the defuse. Has got the kit in his back. He's trying to stick it. The knife coming in, but not enough time. And that is going to be everybody going down, but... Oh, goes through the smoke. Keserato ready. Hunter down early, and G2 handed a deficit. Art okay. could extend upon that here. Oh. Aware. Art's barrel poking around the corner. Still comes away with Monisi and doesn't go far enough for Alexi B to trade that out. Uh, yikes, that one has gone missing there. And just more jarring play towards mid. Alexi not going to finish that Molly one off the Molly could. Uh, certainly could. Art is taking damage. Alexi B, though, has gone out of play. And Art will survive. It's Nico's turn. But in the meantime, Jax has taken two kills that puts them back into the equilibrium. Problem is, he has to go up connector and drop. Did have eyes on it. Jax had the opportunity but misses the first shot. So now it's all on Nico. We've seen him win a one on two already over there on Nuke. Let's 40 see seconds. if he can get this one done. Bomb is in a bit of a problematic position. Top mid. The AWP not bearing down. Drop also taking eyes off of mid. So Nico actually has a lot of room to play this one out, but needs to get a move on. Not a lot of time. And, and that certainly is a factor here for Nico. He's got so much to clear out. At, at this point, I don't even know if it is possible for him to get to the site in time without. Back to the A, kill safe. As long as he clears. <sighs> oh, he's going short. He's going short. And he has to be very, very quick to take down the site here. He can't even afford to really look towards connector and take his time. So because of that, safe will to play once a short prone to the approach has come through because he's smoked off right now. So safe has a window, oh. a chance to try and fight down a short, but he drops out of his position. Luckily, Art through the smoke pulls at least one kill back. And it is for you to stay up in the player advantage. Oh, well, guess what? Yuri is going around the world again here. He's currently in T-spawn. He'll be flanking in about 10 seconds time. Kits are in play. Util is there. This retake is definitely on. Yuri always finding himself in pesky positions, but that means Furia will start to take their time into this. They're wanting to let him get into a position where he's able to deliver some impact. Finally, Art gets itchy feet and decides to move forward, but Hunter and Nico, the cousins bring him down, and now Drop trying his best to get in. It's good damage under the second. And now Yuri's been spotted as well, and the time is ticking on. He'll try and drop back, but Nico decides no mercy. As it is a short peak. He's just about to get that shot. It's Monacy again out of the round early and Art looking for the second. Now he's under so much pressure. Nico hunts him down. Art hopped a ladder and now Jack swings out to the B site. G2 with some important kills here. Kerserata trying to swoop back in for Fury to at least keep the numbers even, but he can't do it. He had a shot, but didn't quite capture it.
Tom's going down. Hunter's in a position to deny any saves here. He's currently still in connector. Yuri's still watching his position from over towards Ticket. And that's the key right here is Hunter. He can remove all of these guns. They're saving this. But look, look at this. He's still so close, right? It's starting to peer out now. Yuri goes down and, and they can't get away. Oh. They're going to be stuck over towards CT spawn. This could be a nightmare for Furia. Not only do they not really contest the round, they might not have the weapons to do so in the next. Hunter, oh. Oh, that was his chance to bring down the AWP, but his teammate's now gone and safe. They know where he is. It's worthwhile, G2, hunting this and, and just removing everything. They're close, but they're not really forcing the issue too much. Alexi B is taking his time, still moving forward. Should start running now with the sound of the bomb, uh, but it is against an AWP, so he's a little bit scared. Blind spam around the corner, not going to get the kill. If we'll have to get out of this position. They will need to give the assist. Honestly, Molid has to use the smoke. And well, I think Safe is in a bit of a pickle here. Well, that is great from Safe. This is what Fury love to do. Some underpass aggression thrown into the mix. Safe and Art able to come away with two. And G2, well, they're handed a very difficult round immediately here. They have to figure out how do you play this in a 3v5. That's gone the complete other way than what I was assuming. Right, you have Monacy top mid. He did the extinguish, but Art just being pesky as you like, it is towards Jax, who could find himself in the action very, very soon. Pushed up on the precipice of a B-Apps pop. Alexia and Nico working on some mid-control. and Jax might actually have to go lingering in for a headshot here. Well, uh... He went lingering in, but he, he received the headshot. Yes, he, yeah. he definitely got a headshot involved in the mix there. But I think this one might just be a write-off for G2, unless something magic happens. Thank you, Art. That's a nice free kill. Sometimes Art can do that and provide the option, and a second kill for Alexi B, and now suddenly this round kicks into action for G2. Yuri positioned at Tetris. Alexi B will be aware of Yuri's positioning, usually around the palace. He will start to clear out this close position, 30 seconds left on this clock. Oh, Alexi B nearly takes down three, but it's all on Nico. AWP bomb position towards his B side. If he takes down drop, there's no one else there. I think he thinks drop's still over towards the apartments, so he doesn't want to try going the close angle, and that's just going to run him into two here. Okay, Serato going to swing on out. Yeah, and he'll the right finish way. off the rounds. Yeah, look, I, I think that... Well, Art, he's got the AWP back anyway. Nico very quick this time into ladder room. Another try and go Palace, but Yuri in his favorite spot. Oh, he's able to get away with two. That is a huge start. That's a bone-shaking 2K to start off this round. And once again, G2 back to a 3v5. Yeah, these openings that they're looking for here are not working at all. Nico's next. He has a chance to draw things back. Art is low, but still hits the shot. And now it's a 2 on 5 Things go from bad to worse. Yeah, G2 have really fallen flat in recent rounds here. Alexi B getting caught. This is a round that G2 might not even get a single kill in. Monacy's towards top middle to try and change that fact, but even then, how much can he really get here? Yeah, you think about that call that was just made. If we can just kind of dissect and understand it, he's wanting two players to walk. This is this has to be on Alexi, right? I, I assume. I don't think anybody else is making this decision. Is to walk out of Palace because they've gone for mid control, right? Like they've gone for mid control. Hopefully that draws the eyes of three players. Art here to deal with this. Oh, Art is certainly going to try and deal with it. Gets aggressive. Hangs around, now has to run back, and Alexi B, he's launched off, he's trying to find him, but Art still reacts in time to get the pick. Luckily, Jax is quick to hunt him down, Full rotation but, here. yeah, Fury have the numbers here, and while G2 haven't got out of the apartments, this could be stifled very quickly, and in fact, G2 could decorate the holes with their corpses. This could get messy. Molly's up as well, Utility's gonna slow this one down completely. Yeah. G2 in a rough spot. Yeah, maybe get on out of here. Nade comes on through. Now it's just Nico and Hunter, the Kovac cousins, to clutch up 2v4. Oh, God, it's now just Nico. Oh, nice tap on the first. Spots out Cancerato, and suddenly Nico thrust into the 1v2. Felt like he had that one. Around Nico charging his way up short has been here time and time again. This time finally gets a fight and he wins it. So he will be down to 10 HP a second on Art through the smoke. That's great from Nico. He's now G2 enough. have the two-man advantage. Yeah, Nico's had enough here, hasn't he? Oh, don't worry, boys. I'll go at Nico. Go kills real. That's a <laughs> oh. third for Nico now. Literally just taking over around single-handedly. Sure, his teammates threw some mid utility, but he's had to pull all of these kills. Two more to find. And that's the power of Nico. Just spurring them into a round win. These players separated from each other as well. Drop is looking towards connector, but G2 are sending their players through the apartments. Drop should have this onto Nico, but yeah. it's going to be a two on four. And yeah, Nico's work done in this round. Drop immediately swings into his cousin who finds revenge. And now it's just safe. 
The thing with that play again is it's literally just Nico running mid. I understand utility has been thrown for him, but he's not trading off a teammate, right? He, he's manufacturing all of those openings almost single-handedly, just with the pace alone, his aim. The, the one through the smoke was brilliant, the all pickup. He's also taken over a central part of the map. By having window, he's ruined the rotations to try and do anything. Now it's going to be eight to six, so thank you very much, Nico. But how many times can you ask of him to do that? It doesn't feel like something you can replicate time and time again. Absolutely not. Uh, well, maybe. 12-3 half for Fnatic. Australia's lead the series 1-0 on maps, though. Good kill for Mark. Monas here out of the round early. And that is going to give Fury a big advantage. Hunter decides to snatch it back as we go under 50 seconds. Bomb still positioned towards top middle. Nico positioned in ramp. Oh, is it on Nico again here? Because they're stalled out in mid right now. They need to scoop up the bomb. As you mentioned, the time's starting to become a little bit of an issue. If they want to go for an A split, it will be into three players. Drops the solo member on the B site. If they knew what we knew, maybe just maybe they'd try and pressure the youngster, but they're going to walk straight into Safe's orb. Oh, and Safe is going to love this. Easy kills for him. Spotted out Nico on the ramp as well. Kesarado, he's down to help out from jungle. Finally, Alexi takes him down, and it's Yuri from the site with two. Just Nico, he can't do much about that. And Furia will take a 9-6. Boost in the short, Yuri not ready, and that's a great opening for G2. Alexi B looking for the follow-up as well, but has decided it's time to drop back into Khan. Art's pressing the issue here. Yeah, he doesn't really let you breathe for too long here, Art. Jax Molly forced into the fight, and he will burn in the fire. Art tries to get a follow-up for Furia, but Hunter, proactive, gets the kill back, and now Keserato's turn to strike. He's got one and two. Alexi B, the second victim to the rifle. Might just be a case of a save here again right now, unless Monacy can find something with the AWP. Currently perched up on Catwalk, starting to swing on out and clear mid with Hunter, but Keserato moves further forward, and this is looking like his round. Hunter's going to get caught off guard by this. AK steps out, and Keserato's done it all. Just young Monacy now with that AWP. Big clutch needed from Monacy. First shot is so quick onto Keserato. Has a kit, has a smoke. This is the type of round he could go for. He needs another pick. That info, give it away. He knows the position of drop. He'll go to the stairs. Thinks about the CT setup. Thinks about the remaining positions. Monacy trying to get close. How does he approach this one? How does he turn it into 1v1s? Oh, scope gives away a spot, trying to pull drop into the fight. Drop hasn't gone for it, finally will! And Monacy not quick enough, well, not accurate enough, certainly was quick, but 11 rounds now for Fury up. Flash is gonna go around, allowing them the exit through Connector, but Alexi B through the smoke will not make it easy for them. They will not journey to the site unscathed. And again, Jackson, Nico here, but Nico's barrel spotted, and Nico climbs over the top, and that's gonna be one for him, but that's all she wrote. Now Jax with much more pressure on his shoulders, he's lost, lost his uh, sharpest teammate inside of the site. Bomb should go down here. Yeah, Yuri's taking a bit more of a risk. Jumping up on top of the triple, but because of the different position, the off angle, Jax wasn't ready for it. Now Hunter's turn to try and claim some of these kills back, but G2 not really getting much going here. Just Alexi B, and that's going to be 13 for Furia. Beautiful stuff handled there, and Art with the opening kill into Connector. You can see Monacy, right? He gets mollied out of position. He gets spammed on through, gooshed, and then Art... Bloodlust chases him down, opens up the account, and from there, the dominoes continue to fall for G2, who are up against the ropes at this. Only 2,900 into the next round of play. This is not where you want to find yourself if you are G2. One of the teams that had uh, a lot of eyes on them coming into this tournament throughout the offseason have made some big changes. But they've not seen anything early, so can't commit to it too heavily. Oh and as they Lord. try and dismount and come back into more recessive positions, they get punished. That was the gap that Case Rider looked like he was peering on through there. Just squeaks on out, grabs oh, the kill, okay. but there's another. They're starting to wear on up. Yeah, I mean, if there's any player to dissuade you from heading into that B side, it will be the decoy of Nico. Holding him back. Furia is still down player. Throwing the AK out of the map just to make sure G2 can't get their hands on that. Oh, B-Stream update. That one's going to three. Final map will be Ancient over there between Astralis and Fnatic. Yeah, it looks like our one might be going to three as well here, Chad. Furia looking very good. I mean, in this scenario, yes, they are down a player, but they still have the better weapons. They still have a bit of utility left. Yeah, they have a lot of time too, and Art's actually applying some pressure over towards B. If Hunter goes down without a fight, Art might signal that B is clear, or alternatively, it'll just draw the rotation from these final few defenders. Art loves to do that. Safe now, swinging out towards ramp. Jax, bit of an all-final here. Safe can't see him, and Jax can't capitalize. 
Now they try and get out. It's Arthur swings into the B site, and now the bomb being held back. 30 seconds left. Hunter with a CZ elsewhere is again taking that art player down. So it is just down to Safe and Yuri. And they're trying to move their way forward. Safe peering to the bottom of the stairs. Nico, oh, just about dodges the scope, and now he goes back to it. Nico taken down. And Safe has to commit to the bomb plant. He will do so. Yuri, his bodyguard, makes sure he stays up. And Alexi oh. B had the shot, had the chance, but Safe able to recover. Oh, not going to get too many more opportunities. Takeover game yet. For That's true. That is very true. Looking like a B heavy play right now. They're trying to run down this double up setup. Alexi B, let's see if he can handle this pressure. Hunter at the ready alongside of him. They've done a good job at delaying with this utility. That allows Hunter to reposition underneath the window and Nico to push through underpass to get the flight going. Monacy's hit the first. Alexi B playing close inside of these smokes for the AWP. Hunter has been removed, so Alexi B needs it. And the no scope is good. Now he switches to the AK and that flight from Nico gets his reward. Two players pinned in the sight and Alexi B mauls them. Ten rounds for G2. And map two is done. Okay, Serato over towards B, so followed by drop. The AWP is safe coming. Art to sell top mid. This is going to be fast. I'm going to try and get through. Oh, Molly goes deep. Alexi B once he again is on his under own. so much pressure. He has to drop back and try and buy some time. The short play hasn't worked out. They haven't been able to stop this one from crossing. Monacy yet to deliver impact finally. Will remove drop, turns around and gets two. But now you've got to look to Alexi B in the sight. He has got the rifle back of Hunter to help him out here, but Cancerado, he's going to be a nuisance in this. Oh! Alexi B with a no scope, and now goes back to short, but this time will fall. It is the safe AWP, but Hunter's rifle keeps it clean, and safe in the 1v3. Slipping around, Hunter makes quick work of him. Fury. He's going to get flashed in, and no, it delivers one. Just the one, though. Some more pressure on Modesty, and the flash has caught him. He's stuck behind triple, throws the smoke to try and stay alive because he needs reinforcements. He needs his teammates to come and help him out, and he's been bombarded. Fury into the site for the first time in a while. This time, they've got the advantage. They push towards CT. Alexi B under a lot of pressure. AWP is about to be overrun, and oh, they're all down. It's just Nico left. A monumental clutch needed. It's the first tap to the head. And Nico needs another. Fake drops the pistol. Fury are not biting on this one. They want to close this. They do not want to give a single chance to Nico into a clutch like this, and they won't. 16 13. Fury bite back. And if they want to come into this. Well, so the CT side, a HE, a smoke, a couple of flashes in a kit for the attack. G2. Oh, they've given the P250 to Monacy here. Nico and Alexi B equipping some util. And if Monacy can kick this third map off in style, maybe, just maybe, those 1x bet odds might come true. Four man stance on the defense over towards A. Drop safe Yuri and Cesarado to defend top mid. And oh, jumping for Into. Cesarado spotted a few. Flash at the ready for drop. This could charge safe forward if the flash is popped correctly, but just holding with the crossfire with Yuri and safe right now in the setup and drop alongside of him. This bracket's control is very strong for Fury up. G2 are going to have to be extremely potent to take down what is waiting for them on this A site. Currently Casarado in the apartments. Numbers now show for G2 and Monash is taking the first. Looking for the second. Can't quite do it, but Nico will. And so the number's looking good for G2. Drops in trouble here, should go down. Hunter finishes him off now. It's just case right on the site. Do they account for his position? Playing in the close box. They begin to turn. He's stuck in this spot and still alive, but not for long. Hunter puts lead in his brain. And now it's all on Art left alone. He tries to peek around into the short side. With all that utility on his back, probably worth the save call here. Yeah, just going to drop on back and hold on to those goodies. HE, a flash, and the smoke in hand. That's $800 spent that he can hold on to for the next round of single-handedly to defend with a smoke and a Mac 10 and the only kit in play is on the back of art and safe wants him in for back top mid and this is the right call 38 seconds left these late rounds seem to be plaguing g2 in certain scenarios furious sending a player back to beat make it two safe's moving as well oh this is the perfect time for g2 to go now they smoke out arch can safe get on the other side of this quick enough he spots the side of lxcb and that's going to be the kill for the brazilian alper 
Now we look to the rest of the rifles to try and hold with limited time. G2, they have to charge down the site, and this is looking good. Furia, they have Yuri and Castorado, and the rifles are no rapid. And Nico is left alone. His teammates just get mauled on the way to the A site. Drop is going to hold with the MAC-10. Close position to come into, and the MAC-10 is rapid to the kill, and certainly will be for one. Jack's the victim of it. Still going to break this pit hole. This is looking strong. Yuri and Cerrado, they can often be just so good at locking down the site. They did it last round. Just one this time for Cerrado. It's Yuri's turn to get more, and Alexi B walks into his domain. It's an easy kill for Yuri, but he has been chunked down, and Nico hunting him down eventually will remove him. And a lovely shot from Monacy. Swinging out from the site has drawn the numbers down to just art. Is he going to go for this? Looks like it. Well, he has to deal with the pit. And having Nico in the pit is a big advantage here for G2. Art can't focus on the site solely. If he makes any sort of sound cue now as well, he will be peeked upon. And that's the scope going out. And it's Nico swinging, but no kill. And eventually will. 4-1 to one for G2. That was kind of Nico giving uh, a chance for Art. Rob's going to hold up on first oranges. Goes with the swing out, spots the arm of Alexi B, and it's just a, a whisker from death here. A little sprinkle and drop all of removed Alexi B. Yeah, Alexi. Oh. Oh, never mind. They've done more than a sprinkle. Yeah, he's gone. Not the round. Castrado with a headshot. Now drops turn, but he gets taken down after one. At least he did get the one because now it sets up Castrado to hold down the site. Fury is still up with a player advantage, and D2 well, floundered at the moment, but Monacy makes that difference. Shot lands onto Castrado, and now a quick mid play from Fury. Uri oh, Uria, as I nearly called him. But he comes back up through Banana, and the bomb will go down at Coffins. Oh, this is a difficult two on two oh. now. Damage done through the coffin position, and now Yuri, as he slowly closes way at Banana, the eyes are on from Monacy, who has opted to go for the AK 47 here. One smoke left for Fury into this. Safe trying to take a wide angle, but they're both pinned in the pool. Safe swings, misses the shot. Now maybe has to rely on a bit more proactive play from Yuri. Here he comes. He comes around the swing side. He has been spotted. Bullets whiz past him. Safe for the shot, and the rifle it's picks it good. up. And Safe is sticking it on the 10 seconds. He's going to hold it through. So they're retaining the double up as well here, so no dramas. It, it did look like... Drop is going to hide in behind the car. Or the barrels. As some of the uh, mm -hmm. newer fans will probably be calling that. Well, that's a bait nade. That's going to bait him in here. Yeah, that might just make them think that it is clear and drop. He is looking to be unleashed. Safe elsewhere with a kill from Fury. It's out. out. Timing, but not a kill. Instead, it's Cancerato and it's two. Nico, Jax, they both go down, and now it's the charge forward. G2, with ill intent, look to remove Cancerato from his position. He swings, and again, it's Monacy that falls. Cancerato with three. He's done everything in a 4K for Cancerato, and they needed that. They desperately needed a step up. Well, Yuri, will he pass this test? G2 with pistols looking to be potent. And Yuri holds for the first and will fall. Tech 9 cracks open a hole in Cancerato. It's a makeshift job. It's just one as Nico removes his skull. And now we have to look to safe and drop to get themselves into this. Monacy locking in the bomb plant. Furia cannot afford to drop around like this. Safe coming back through short, but Nico on the bicycle. Peek up over the pit, luckily, will retain his life. Drop has taken out Jax, and they're just trying to hold back the AWP of safe here. Nico's Deagle goes again, but this time falls, and it's all on Monacy. Can he close it? His teammates have set him up, and Monacy to close. G2, they do it with the low buy. They do it with the pistols. A second there alongside Art to see if they can get anything done here. It's just another smoke. smoke. That's it. Oh, that could be another delay tactic, but no, I don't think it's going to come down in time. Jackson already threw it. Art down. Smoking towards CT and safe while he has to continue to move forward. But to get into this round, it takes a monumental effort from Furia because now they have to play retake. Oh, bomb yet to get planted, and that's fortunate. Case Rado and Yuri are still yet to move from A. Drop threat to oh, over. Uh, that's a big safe. kill. He had a chance. That's a massive kill. And, and Furia don't really have the utility to clear this out. You don't have mollies left in anybody. You've got a smoke and a flash. That's all you've got to get back into the site. Look how late Yuri is. He's still only making his way through CT spawn now. This is a disaster. Fury looking so unlikely to get anyone near this. Alexi B, good for one again. Kesarada realizes he has to clear out the coffins, and Alexi B is good for it. It's just Yuri. 1v3. Tap on a Jax. They're split, and Nico has the shot. 10 rounds for G2. They're putting themselves in pole position. 
to the pack. He needs to do something here, and Jax trying to duel him out. Neither of them get on top of this, and finally, the they're in the pit, they're in A. And they're into the A side. They dive down. Nico's come in. Good headshot. He's looking for a follow up. It's another headshot for Nico. And Drop and Keserato tasked with a 2v4. They try. And they try as they might. It is now just Drop. And the might of G2 will take them down as they go through. Picked up by Art. Now Jax peeking up from the bicycle. Art doesn't see him. Jax certainly will. They're going to come through this smoke. They have to. And look at the banana play as well. Up middle, Jax has done well. His reinforcements now arriving. And Fury is starting to feel like it's been stifled. And Nico's run all the way back to B here. So there is still a chance. Well, they're running onto the site. Hunter, MP9. Starting to rattle away. Plant. Yuri has taken him out. A bomb plant and the advantage. Alexei be in the apartments. They're all in the site. Nico's coming back. Fury all occupying the site itself. Yuri in the back corner. Keserato alongside of him. Drop plays from the box on the left side. Alexei B falls. Not like this. Surely not like this. Nico has no kit, no utility. Just a mass to claim this one, he has no info. He doesn't know all the players are inside of the site. He goes into the fight. Good first one on him. Second picked up. And now just one more for Nico. Needs to be quick. He needs to be very quick indeed. And oh, drop swings out. And that is a masterpiece. Just the art buy. And it is giving it over. Oh, Hunter swings out. Good headshot. Yuri is not going to like that. One and done. And that was so passive. That was so, so passive. He was all the way back down near T-spawn of alt mid. And that channels them straight up banana. They want to get a move on towards B here, Furia. Good molly from G2. That slows them for the time being. But Furia continuing to move forward with intent. Monacy is in a good position to try and shut this one down. The first is good as he butchers Casarato into the ground. Alexi B swings out, but Art takes him out of the round. And now it is down to Monacy to buy some time. Nico swings out. It's one, two for Nico, and finally dealt with by Drop. But he has to do everything here. He has to remove Monacy, and he is so quick to the trigger. 13 rounds for G2. Clearing out this close position, forcing back possible position of the opera being held and they will clear sandbites but monacy tested first quick shot and now they're running it down furia looking to move through nico with one but monacy is now sitting at the back of the site pressure on the young man's shoulders and cancerado will kick him out fury onto the site 3v3 cancerado's on one hp and G2 have utility. They throw the itchy in. Oh, Saves dear. down to 21. They are so low. Yuri's, Yuri's flank. flank. This could be everything right now. Yuri could win this round right here and keep Fury in it. No one's accounting for this. He's coming around the backside. They're letting him make the play. Jax walks around the corner. Yuri's flank given up. Alexi B hits the shot. Safe still in the sight. Fragging out, but it's all on him. Spots the barrel, jumping around the corner, and Safe will hold. This time's ticking, and Hunter brings him down to the defuse. He will run, and G2 move through to the decider matchup. They are going up.